the first level I just could not get through. It's like the tutorial level. I had to play it like eight times, and then finally I did it. Okay, so in Jotun, you play Thora, a Viking warrior who died in England's death and must prove herself to the gods. Will I impress the gods? I, I always impress the gods. In Jotun's Alpha, you explore the winter region inspired by Niflheim itself. It's an unforgiving and solitary land in the your goal is to find two Isa ruins to summon and fight the mighty creature Jotun. Thor and Freyja may also help you on your quest. They're shrines to receive them. Remember, though, the gods are not easily impressed. All right, so there's a, there is a winter area, right? Look at this, the void. My voice is fading in and out for you. Let me do this. Let me just turn up. Gain just a touch. Uh, it might be fading because of my compressor. How about I adjust my compressor to that? All right. So, how many? How many? Do you know how many hours of gameplay this game is going to have in the end? A new player. Right now, you said so, the this just is about an hour or two hours of gameplay, right? Yeah, this the is demo. about an hour. Generally, people play through it in about an hour. Okay. Uh, and uh, it's hard to put a, a number of hours at this point, but we're doing five bosses in the final game, uh, plus a full story as well. So it'll be probably about around five or six times what it is right now. Nice. God, I love these animations. Do you know how many frames are in this run cycle? How many frames are in this run cycle? I actually don't know, but let me ask uh, our animator. And okay. I'll, I'll, I'll get back to you right away. Okay. So basically, uh, this game here, we're at the void. Let me go back here. Um, just to show you guys what's up with this thing. First off, it's freaking gorgeous. And you guys know me, I'm an animator. I'm particular about animations. And this is great stuff. All right, I got the answer. Okay. The answer is 20. 20 frames. Nice. Yes. That's why one of the reasons it looks so gorgeous. So right now we are in the void, which is kind of like the main part of this. Is, it's the This is the hub, right? Yeah, this is exactly. This is your hub. This is the central part of the game, like the central access point to all the different levels, all the different regions. And all of the different levels will go off into these directions right here that are pointing. But obviously right now, this is just a demo. So there's one level. God, that run cycle is just so great. It's like his feet, they go forward and then stop and then push. It's it, I really, I love the personality of it. And his head, it rotates like left and right on the, uh, on like the X and Z axis. So it's, it's like his head is turning left and right while he's running. It's actually a, a girl. It's actually Thora. Thora. Her. Okay. Yeah, you can tell it's a her because of her cleavage. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe to mailing list. Is this kind uh, Kind of looks fun. Is it controller or mouse and keyboard as well? Uh, yeah, it's keyboard. Keyboard. Uh, this is... I'm, I'm playing with a controller. Well, right now I'm using the mouse or the keyboard, but... So let's go and do something here. The arrows point the way. Follow the light. Follow the light. And drink some coffee. It's noon 30 for me, and that's the uh, first first coffee of the day. Coffee is good. Well, will there be extra stuff like challenge modes, boss rushes, and infinite battle tower mode? Uh, we're doing a new game plus. Uh, it was one of our Kickstarter stretch goals, and we hit it. So we're definitely promising a new game plus. But uh, apart from that and the single player mode, for now we can't announce anything else. Who non-announced? That means there's some top secret stuff going on behind the scenes. That was weird. Not 
All right. Footprints. That's you cannot get used to using a controller at all, even though you just bought one of the Xbox 360 controllers. Um, some games like Dark Souls is great with a controller. Uh, and I'm using a Logitech. I'm a huge Logitech fanboy. I have Logitech keyboards, Logitech mice, Logitech camera. Yeah, I'm just gonna explore. Okay, this is this guy's awesome. Um, I don't really think I need to mess with him right now because what that dude does is give me health. But yeah, you can definitely save him for later. For yeah, later. I, I I know where he is. Let's go over here. Oh, I can go over here. No. Tup, tup, tup. I like how even there's animation on that. The water is just kind of moving. It it really it really gives it life. Lice. It gives it life. <laughs> Hopefully not too much. It not too much lice. lice. Yeah. He just looks like you know what I would be doing if I was kicking back in a hot tub right now. Whenever I see that, I just I just want to be in a jacuzzi, basically. I know in the winter. Have you ever have you ever been in a hot tub in the winter outside? Yeah. Oh, I God, have. It's so great. We're we're up in the in the cold cold Canada, so we have pretty cold winters, and uh, your hair gets frozen pretty quickly. But uh, when you do that, oh really? I, you know, I used to live up in Washington, and it would get below like fifteen below. Yeah. And uh, so this this and, and uh, my mustache and stuff would freeze when I go outside and I'd go running. Yeah. So this is like this is open world exploratory. Can you give us some any uh, other clues to the other worlds? Uh, not unfortunately, I cannot. Uh, the other worlds are not revealed yet, but they are going to be unique. So it's not going to be all uh, the winter level. <laughs> will it be all open like this, or will there be paths and caves? And uh, we're definitely doing a mix. Uh, one of the feedbacks we've gotten from the alpha is that the fact that these levels are very open and very uh, can be a little bit confusing. So uh, we're doing we're doing as much as possible to really take into people's feedbacks and and listen to what people are saying. And uh, right now, this is this is definitely like the most open. It's like a a giant tundra, basically. Right. Uh, but uh, we're definitely looking into ways to to uh, directing the player. I love how you can just walk out here and what's the what's the game engine you guys used for this? Uh, we're building the game in Unity. I love that. I mean, I love that you you move and then you stop and then the background still is moving as the camera focuses. God. Yeah, the clouds move too. <laughs> oh, the clouds are moving. Oh, yeah, they are. Very slow, like like real clouds. They move. Okay, let's go on down here. Now I'm on ice. Are all the levels going to be themed on Norse slash Viking mythology? Absolutely. Hey, Lith, how's it going? Oh, here we go. We are at the first. Oh, crap. Get away. See that under the ice there? That's a big snake. Or whatever it is. All right, so here we go. We have actually the first. -da -da. Yeah, she says. And really, she doesn't have cleavage. No, not so much cleavage going on. There's definitely no cleavage angle. <laughs> I guess this way you can yeah. see that she is actually a girl. Well, no, that's her hair is in the way. Yeah, well, we definitely wanted to make a, a realistic character. Like, I wouldn't uh, imagine a, a badass Viking warrior uh, walking around purgatory with uh, with too much cleavage. Uh oh, oh, crap! No, no, no. 
He's like, what in the heck? So is that guy in what is it? Can you tell us about that 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 uh, that character right there that just popped up? So that character is Jormungandr. He's uh, the Norse sea serpent who encircles the world. He's one of Loki's children, and uh, now whenever you're on the ice. Whenever you're on the ice, he will damage the crap out of you. Yes. Oh, I'm about ready to sneeze. Excuse me. And I even took allergy pills and I'm still sneezing. Yeah. <laughs> so here we go. Here we are. There's the man himself. Now what this will do, we stand here. This is going to give me another power. Right there. Gives me my, my Thor power, right? What is this power right, called? This is Thor. This Thor. Is Thor, Thor. Thor's power, so whenever you do a heavy attack, when it's active, you'll do, uh, you'll do some extra damage. Right. So there's other things on this map that I can get. Yeah, there are a few more things, a few more secrets. Do you, do you want to guide me to something else from here? Uh, yeah, if you go to the southwest. And uh, you make your way along the rocks. At some point. Yeah, keep going up, keep going northwest. And there's a view there on the second level uh -huh. of the winter region. And uh, south of here is a uh, giant frozen waterfall. All right, let's go straight south then. Use, use me as a model for that big sculpture. Maybe when my hair was longer. So remember, you guys, to get entered in the giveaway, go to jotengame.com and sign up on the newsletter there. Let's see. I probably have to keep... go. I have to go east, don't I? Yeah, I'll keep hugging the, the, the wall. We'll see it eventually. Soft Go east or uh, west, 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 west. Somewhere. Okay, yeah. So south of here. I'm trying to no, I go a bit more to the. I think you might have to go back up. Really? How dare yeah, you? Really have to hug. You really have to hug the uh, the the cliffs. Okay. Is there anything down here? Uh, you're heading back towards the entrance, I believe, right now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get up here just to show off some other stuff here. Well, it's in the other level as well. It's a it's okay. a health health upgrade, so we can get it uh, the next time. Okay. In the next level. <clears throat> QQ, what's up, misanthrope? Here we go. There we are. So now it's no longer lit, you can see, but this one over here is lit. Yikes. Yeah, 
Dang it. <clears throat> My bad. Sorry. So what I thought was cool about this is there's visu visual 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 cues like this right here. This standing behind the stone and then there's the snow that's piled up. Yeah. It's like, huh, the wind has been blowing there. Yeah, that's that's one of the things we're trying to do with uh, kind of like the visual storytelling of the level and, and not putting too much text in and trying to get people to, to figure out uh, on their own what they have to do. What, what are these things right here? These are markers to help uh, guide you. Okay. So you kind of know that uh, when you see one of them, it's kind of you're kind of going in the right direction. Let's go on up here. So here we go. Now we're down on that winter level. Um, this guy. Let me see. Can I bring the mouse in? No. Um, that guy right there. This gives you health. And then over to the right. That's a big, a big marker. Did we? We didn't go over there last time, did we? Let's go. Over there. I don't think so. I think we might have gotten lost. <laughs> yeah. Let's let's go in to that big marker. The big one. I know my desktop is super cluttered. Uh-oh. Now shit's happening. Uh-oh. Get back there, woman. Run. Oh, she's going to die. There we go. That was not good. Let's see here. How do we get over there? I don't know if we can from here. No, I think you got to go around. Okay, well, let's go around. Crap, here it comes again. Run, run, run! Oh no! There's nothing in sight. Come on. Oh, almost dead. You gotta hit. You gotta hit those with your heavy attack. Yeah, there we go. Hey, Lumo, what's going on? Welcome. I should have went over to where I'm gonna get my health. Yeah. Uh oh, I might die here. Cause I, yeah, looks like I'm gonna die. I'm dead. My ID IGN is the real indie. All right, let's try it one more time. Here we are. And that right right there is a clue in itself, which is cool. It's like, oh, there's there's this mechanic right here, and that might be later on in the game. All right, so should I go this way? Mm, yes. Okay. Because I want to see what that big marker is. Uh. There we go. Uh oh. Come on, come on, come on. There, get over there. Safe. I am definitely not MLG Jotun, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> go this way there's the big marker that's a big marker it's cool looking too yeah I love I love the effects of like the the wood is all like the paints coming off and stuff mm. gives it a sense of love someone cared about that they didn't just you know, make a marker and everything else was a weather beaten but the marker here we go Getting on up here. Yeah, the animation is freaking gorgeous. Oh, uh, thank you. Well, the design is great, too. I mean, it's like it's 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 like old school. The way you have to run around, you know, and go down the path. But it feels different than any other game that's out there. Here we go. Run, run, run. Oh, here we go. Something's happening. There's the buxom woman. 
<laughs> Here we go. She just gave me the power. Okay, so this is the goddess. Who is this? This is Freya. Uh, and what she does is she gives you... In the mythology, she has a falcon cloak that lets her fly. Uh, and when you activate her power, you get a uh, speed boost for uh, about 10 seconds, I believe. Makes you run faster, attack faster, dodge faster as well. Run, dodge, attack. Okay, the snow's going to come here. In a oh, no, it's not even snow. There it goes. It's going to start. I'm scared. Just pre-scared. So the rune is going to be uh, west of here, northwest of here. So head, head, head uh, west and try and stay as much to the north as you can. Okay. So you switch um, between your powers using the the bumper buttons. Yeah. And then you use Y, I believe. There we go. It's gonna start storming again. She got I love her little chubby knees. <coughs> On an Xbox controller, I believe it's uh, B. It's the red button. To activate it. It's the one on the left, on the right, sorry. Ah, oh, oh, yeah, I guess that is B. Okay. So here we go. I want to go this way? I believe so. Alright, let's see if we can make it to the next. Uh... Yikes! Uh, no, I think it's uh, to the to the east of where you are. You, you took a left there, and you should take it right. Okay, I'll do it. So, yeah, make sure and enter. Sign up. Sign up for the newsletter at jotengame.com. At the bottom right of that screen, when you get there, there's a little newsletter that you can sign up for, and that is going to get you entered at, at the end of this uh, this cast, what they're going to do. Oh, crap. Go, go, go. At the end of this cast, they're going to look through the people that signed up and give away some games. I don't know how many you guys want to, but uh, so I got to go this way. Uh, actually, I think uh, you m may have been right. For once. Sorry about that. Yeah, <laughs> I was definitely wrong. You were definitely wrong. I have not heard that in a long time. I like it though. Okay, can you can you head right from here? Sure. Not into the storm. Got to battle the storm. That was a big one. Uh, I can't go that way. Okay, so it's to the left then. Alrighty. I think this was a dead end, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, but you can keep going on the left. Run, run, run. Get behind it. Oh, that's a little one. <laughs> you need to find a high ground. There are three big uh, pillars that you can get onto. It'll show you the, the map, but... Uh, Okay. Yeah, you need to enter your email into that box there. All right, let's go this way. Come on. What do we got up here? Uh-oh, there's something up here. Will the path always be the same or will you plan to introduce some randomly generated parts for playability? Uh, we actually about doing randomly generated levels uh, at the beginning of the of production, but uh, after talking it through with our Kickstarter backers and with, with uh, the team, we decided not to, that we preferred making a, a handcrafted experience instead. That way you could design the gameplay and people could speedrun it. Yeah. Nine Rivers Rune Acquired, level complete. Press start to return to the hub. So that's another cool thing, is that once you get what you want, uh, the, yeah, the confirmation email, it takes a little bit, Enigma. So let's go back to the hub. We can just TP there. And let's go look at our map here. You can see that both of these are lit up. This is all of the stuff that I visited. 
And there's a lot more stuff that we did not go to at all. There's a lot more. This right here. So what? what is this right here? That's uh, Mimir's well. Okay. In the lake level. Didn't I visit that? I did. Yes, I was, you didn't activate it, though. I didn't activate it. Okay. So now we want to go and fight this guy up here. Dum, yes. dum, dum. So what we need to do is go up. Up. Yeah. No, we need to go right, right? Right. Bum, 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 bum. And follow the arrow. That arrow is no longer lit. We got the big one now. Here we go. 45 minutes of me struggling. <laughs> no! Oh, I gotta activate this. Alright. It did it automatically. Open says me! Open the door! Let me in! Here we go. Winter Jotun's leg. Get wrecked! <laughs> Thank you, Cohen. Let's go ahead and talk to this dude. Green face. Hello. That looks so creepy. I'm going to screenshot that. <laughs> Goat Simulator is downloading 1.3 gig update. It's probably the zombie update. So, uh, you guys going to have Steam cards? Uh, Steam cards? Yeah. Uh, Steve, uh, the game is coming on Steam. And uh, right now, the alpha is... Uh, we're doing it through Steam codes as well, yes. So you'll have Steam cards then? Uh, trading cards? Yeah. Uh, we can't say for sure yet. But most likely. You know you make money off those. I don't exactly know how they work. Even when people resell them, you still get a small percentage. Hmm. Do players actually like Steam cards, like trading cards? And oh, yeah. Does anyone in you, chat actually you, uh, trade them or, or use them? Um, I buy Steam cards. I sell and buy them. I, I sell the expensive ones and then buy the cheap ones because that's how you level up your Steam account. And right. uh, you, that's the only way to get friend, friend slots is by leveling up your Steam account. Ah, uh, okay. All right, here we go. Yo. If you hold your charge attack, you can actually charge it for longer. Holy crap! That was awesome. That helps.
think I might just do it here. Yeah, it's a pretty good run. I got him! Oh, son of a crap! Do you see that his health is gone? Do you see that his health was gone? That was like one one HP left. That's garbage. That was me. You thought he had squatted to break wind? Uh, you love how the shadow is super accurate. You know what? I noticed that it if he does fall, it does damage a little bit outside the shadow. You're awesome right. because that's it. It's it's it reminds me of Ralph Bakshi for sure. Bashki Bakshi is that is that it? Bakshi. I got wrecked. I did not get wrecked. I kicked his butt. You're full of crap if you think I got wrecked. I I I kicked his and you know what? I was down one uh, attack too. I was down one power up. Come on. There we go. Now this will wake up. Wake up, young man! It's time to wake up! Your love affair has got to go. You saw me die. Doesn't mean I got wrecked. I kicked his butt. Miss me. Dang it! He keeps missing. Oh, crap. Uh-oh. There we go. We got, we got him this time. I'm just gonna hold the button down. There we go. Oh, he's pissed. Oh, he's pissed. He is not freaking happy. Wake up. that time dang it oh I ran right into him that was stupid no 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 all right now he's gonna get close get close he's gonna get oh shit run 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 okay what I need to do is uh Oh, 
Uh oh. I suck at aiming those. It's easier with the controller than with the keyboard. Uh oh. Dang it. Oh, crap! Go, go, go! I just gotta hit them one more time. There we go, son. Yes! You're done, son. One last hit. Nice. You! I defeat the gods! <laughs> Thank you for playing Jotun's Alpha! We really hope you enjoyed it. The final game contains four additional regions, each containing exploration levels and a boss fight. There's also a full story that covers Thor's life and death. The beta will be available sometime this summer. Full Steam release is in September 2015. The next step is for you to give us your feedback. It's absolutely crucial! That you tell us what you thought of the experience, what you liked, what you didn't like, and what we can improve, what stood out, etc. So remember, if you guys uh, check this game out, negative feedback is the best feedback, as long as you're not like a jerk about it. You know, this sucked. That's not feedback at all. That's just a crappy opinion. Yeah, that's not, not that's super useful. Feedback is like, well, it was really nice when this did this to this, but the one thing I didn't like is the way this mechanic did this exact thing. You have to give constructive feedback not just this level sucked because honestly that doesn't really mean anything at all except for that you're just a jerk <laughs> 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 all right so you guys <coughs> you can't believe you missed it i saw it on kickstarter 